Welcome back to Life with Becky. We are doing a 36, 37 week pregnancy update. When I'm filming this, I'm about 36 and a half weeks pregnant. When I put this video out though, I'll probably be about 37 and a half weeks. It really just depends how fast I can get it edited and out. I really wanted to document this pregnancy more often than I have. But life happens. I have three other little ones and unfortunately I just haven't been able to do as much as I thought I would be able to. My last pregnancy update I did, I was 20 20 weeks we were getting our anatomy scan done, finding out the gender, which as you know now we are having another little girl. We currently have a six-year-old boy, four-year-old girl, two-year-old boy, and now we are having another little girl, which we are so excited for. I'm somebody who loves symmetry. Of course, if this baby was a boy, we would be just as happy, but the fact that we're gonna have two boys and two girls, like boy, girl, boy, girl, it just like makes my brain happy. We do know her name. We've known her name since Hazel was born. We said if we ever have another little girl, this will be her name. So we've known her name for a very long time and when we found out we were having a girl, we were like, oh, that was easy. We already know her name. We are having a very difficult time with her middle name though. I actually posted let me see if I have it here. I posted on Instagram. Sorry, my Instagram wouldn't load for a second, but right now we have Noah Robert, Hazel Grace, Wyatt Henry, and these are the middle names I like for this baby. Rob and I are having a really difficult time agreeing on a middle name because I really like older names. Like I love, yes, I love older names. If you can't tell by my kids' current names, I just really am drawn to old fashioned names. So these are the middle names. I like, I like Emma, Sue, Flora, Ivy, May, Jane, Olivia, Joy. Joy is my mom's name and I just thought that would be so cute as the baby's middle name. Rob does not like that as the middle name. Like I said, we just are not agreeing on a middle name. So hopefully we can come to a compromise with one of these names. That would be ideal. So I just said Joy, Sage, Kate, and Brooke. Those are the middle names I keep going back to, and I really do like all of them. There are two or three in particular that keep standing out to me. I really, really love Olivia. That was the first middle name I was drawn to. I was like, this is it, and Rob was like, no, it's not. <laughs> So I don't know, we'll have to, like I said, come to some kind of compromise. I like Jane. We both like Sage. That is one that we both agree on, but it's just not my favorite. I love Sue. If you knew the first name, Sue goes really well with the first name. I don't like love the name Sue on its own, but the way it flows with the first name goes really well. And I think I already said Jane. I mean, I like all of these middle names, but there are certain ones that definitely stick out to me more than others. The reason it was important for me to do this update right now is because every night I start to have contractions and I feel like this baby could come at any point. I'm on my feet a lot during the day and by the end of each night, I do start having painful but inconsistent contractions. I was in prodromal labor with Wyatt for two weeks, so I do know what that feels like and I'm well aware that it's not real labor unless the contractions are regular but like I said they are painful and I do have to kind of like pause for a moment and I am able to talk and walk through them and they never really progress and get any worse which of course is why I have not gone into labor yet but I do have a feeling I will be in prodromal labor for probably the next I don't even know maybe this baby will surprise me and come early none of my kids have Hazel came on her due date. August 15th was her due date. She came at, I think, around three o'clock in the morning. I went to 42 weeks with both Wyatt and Noah. I really don't know what to expect this time because I feel like my body has been through a lot this pregnancy between the move, I went through two surgeries, I was hospitalized because of my finger. I did post an update on my finger. If you don't know what happened, you can go check that video out, but my body has just been through a lot more than it's used to when I'm pregnant, so who knows? I might go next week or I might make it to 42 weeks again, but I do have my babies at home. So whenever my body and my baby is ready, we are ready. We don't have anything set up yet. Like we are not prepared in the sense. We don't have like the crib set up. We don't have the swing set up. I don't even know that we have a newborn car seat right now. So obviously that is important, but 
Yes, what are the essentials that we need? Diapers, newborn diapers, which we have. We have like five gowns that are washed and ready. I am not a zipper mom. I do not like zipper onesies. I never have. I think they are inconvenient and I know most moms love and prefer them. I love gowns. If you have not tried gowns and you're currently pregnant or you have a newborn or you're a first time mom, get some gowns for convenience, you will never go back. This being my fourth baby, I know that gowns are the way I prefer to go. My next would be button up onesies, but zippers, no. Like, I, <laughs> I just do not like zipper onesies. I just think they are so inconvenient to unzip them. Even if they zip up, you still have to pull baby's legs out and then the zipper kind of bunches up funny with button ups they at least don't do that but gowns all you have to do is untie the bottom move it up a little bit change the baby's diaper or whatever you need to do pull the gown back down and they're so easy to get on you can like slip them up your baby and they have the shoulder things so you can easily move them over their arms yes i just have a few projects i'd like to complete before taking out baby stuff and setting everything up. I don't know why, that's just how my brain is working right now. So some things that I'm craving right now, there's actually only one thing I'm craving right now and that is sushi. I can't think of a single other thing that I want. I could just eat sushi all of the time. And let's see how much weight I've gained. I weighed myself this morning, I'm 148 pounds. So I started at about 120, 122, so I've gained between 26 and 28 pounds, which is very typical for me. I typically gain between 30 and like 33 pounds, I think is the most I've ever gained, maybe 35, but I'm right on track to where I normally am, so hopefully I don't jump a ton in the next couple of weeks, but I don't anticipate that. Usually my weight gain kind of slows down towards the end because everything in my stomach is moved up so I can't really eat as much. I'm eating more frequently, just not as much. And I keep having to take small breaks while filming this even because I am always out of breath. Even talking like this, I'm sitting cross-legged on a chair right now and I feel like everything's pushed up and I'm constantly having to take a deep breath and feeling winded. Walking up the stairs is a challenge. This is my first pregnancy where we have stairs in the house and every time I look at the dreaded stairs, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is just not even worth it to walk up there. Like, how can I avoid walking up the stairs if I need something? Sometimes I'll even send my older kids up there. I'll be like, can you please grab this for mommy? I'm just so thankful for my kids. They're so sweet and helpful and caring and loving and kind. I feel so lucky to have them and like I said they are so excited to meet their baby sister. I think I already said this but even when I drop something on the floor I just like stare at it like I I am not picking that up. It is not worth it. It's just going to stay there. Whatever I drop is dead to me. It lives there now. So that is where I'm at in this pregnancy. I am so like I said winded all of the time. Everything I do just rolling out of bed, I feel like a whale. <laughs> I don't sleep with the full like you pregnancy pillow. I have one little section like this big that I stick under the side of my stomach and between my legs. That is how I am most comfortable. But when I get out of bed, I feel like I'm getting out of bed to go to the bathroom like six times a night at this point, which is exhausting. And Wyatt still climbs into bed with us, which we do co-sleep so this will be the first time that one of my kids is still co-sleeping with me and I'm about to have another baby. So I really don't know what to expect or how this is supposed to work. I gave Wyatt his big boy bed in hopes that he would stay in his bed. That has not been the case. He comes in our room in the middle of the night and I just love, love his snuggles. He is the best snuggler and I don't want to like push him out and force him to go sleep in his room because I feel like I only have a few more weeks of him being my baby and being able to snuggle with him. But at the same time, I feel like I'm shooting myself in the foot. I think that's the phrase, like letting him still come in bed with me because very soon here, I know that the baby will also be in the bed. So I don't really know how that is supposed to work and we will just 
be flexible and deal with it as it comes. I love sleeping with my kids and I always have just because I love the snuggles and I just don't know how Wyatt is going to react to sharing me. So we will see. The other kids were fine. There was no like jealousy issues or anything like that. Wyatt is definitely a mama's boy. So I really, I don't know what to expect. It'll definitely be interesting to see how our family adjusts and how Wyatt adjusts specifically. I am very, very excited to see how Hazel handles having a little sister. I feel like she will be overjoyed, like not being able to handle all of the excitement and emotion that she feels. She is an overlover to the max. So her having a little sister, a little girl, like it just, I feel like it's going to affect her so, so much. Like in the best way. She's already excited, but I just don't think she knows how excited she's going to be. And maybe I'm totally off on this, but I really do think she is going to just <laughs> like not be able to handle her own emotions. Noah is going to be excited as well, but Hazel, like I said, she is an over lover. She's very emotional and I just feel like she's not even, I don't know. I, I'm really excited to see how she reacts. So that is how I think my kids are going to react. I think Noah is going to be excited and there and helpful, but at the same time, he's gonna be like, okay, let me go do my own thing. Let me go play, build Legos. Hazel is going to lose it in the best way possible. Wyatt, I do think will be a little bit jealous to start, and then I think he will just love the baby. I'm looking through my phone right now because I'm pretty sure a little while ago I asked on Instagram if you had any questions about pregnancy or home birth and I want to make sure I answer everything because I don't know that I will be doing another update before baby gets here. Okay, here it is. Tips on finding a midwife. Wyatt is joining us while we answer these last few questions. So I said tips on finding a midwife. Just make sure you go through... <laughs> is that a yummy chip? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just make sure you go through a couple of interviews and make sure you find somebody that aligns on your same beliefs and just everything that you are looking for, you will find the right match and it'll click and it'll feel right. But definitely make sure you talk to multiple midwives to make sure you find the right one for you. What do you plan on buying or packing to prepare for your home birth? So I will do a separate video on everything I have to prepare for our home birth and there's really not much but I will do a video on that separately. Wyatt found a ladybug so he's checking out his ladybug right now but please share some tips on how to conceive a daughter. I will say for each pregnancy we used the shuttles method and I'm not going to say it worked or it didn't work. I will say that we got the gender that we were looking for each time. We would have been happy no matter what. I don't want to say it works or it doesn't work though because I feel like everything happens the way it is supposed to happen and either way like I said we would have been happy and yeah that is the method we used and it's a 50-50 chance so you can try it and if it doesn't work it doesn't work. The cost of the home birth, pain management, and if I will have a doula or a midwife present. The cost of my home birth is $3,500. It is not covered by insurance. I will not have a doula here. I will have my midwife. That is the service that I am paying for. She has an assistant that comes with her. The assistant was not at Wyatt's birth. The assistant was actually at another birth when Wyatt was born in pain management the bathtub. <laughs> that is the only pain management. Otherwise, I like to walk around. I feel I get the best pain relief when I'm either in the bath or like on my hands and knees, like rocking back and forth. Otherwise, like that's it. <laughs> when you're having a home birth, there really is no other form of pain management. It's just really important to stay in a good headspace and not feel tension and overwhelmed because that can actually increase your pain. So I'm going to take Wyatt to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. This one says I'm pregnant with my fourth and I want to know the signs of having a girl. Everybody's signs are different. My signs of having a girl are craving sweets. I have really, really, really bad morning sickness when I'm pregnant with a girl. I did with Hazel. I did with this baby. 
And those are basically the only two signs of a girl for me, personally. Everybody's different though. How do you feel about the kids being present at your birth? Most likely they will not be because I have my babies in the middle of the night. Thankfully my kids have always stayed asleep, but if they do wake up, everything will be totally fine. And I have talked to them about what to expect, so they are somewhat aware. I don't want them to be scared or alarmed or worried in any way. So I did talk to them about that just to prepare them a little bit. I know it can be emotional and they will probably still feel those emotions, but I just wanted to prepare them as much as possible. If they did wake up through the night, I probably would call my mom to come over so that Rob could be there for me and not be tending to the kids and the midwife could be there for me, obviously. So that's probably what I would do if they woke up through the night. What are your baby newborn must-haves and also your pregnancy must-haves? I would say my pregnancy must-haves, not much. <laughs> Maternity clothes and a pregnancy pillow, one that you find really comfortable, and that's about it. I really don't have any pregnancy must-haves. I'm a pretty simple person when it comes to pregnancy needs because I know it's temporary and I just try not to buy too much and the pregnancy doesn't last very long so it always seems to work out for me. But I will be doing a newborn must-haves video separately. Are your other children present during your birth? I kind of already answered this. Usually I have my kids in the middle of the night and they've always stayed asleep so far, so fingers crossed that happens this time too. But like I said, if they do wake up during the night, I'll just call my mom to come over and everything will be just fine. I had a home birth last time. I'm going to the hospital for my fourth. Any tips from the hospital experience? I went to the hospital for my first, Noah, and I hated it, so I have no tips. I'm so sorry. Vowed for yourself if they try to push anything that you aren't comfortable with, you have a voice, and that is why I have home births now, so I'm so sorry. I have no other tips besides stand up for yourself and what you are looking for exactly. Okay, Wyatt and I are gonna go pick up Hazel from school right now. She has a dentist appointment after school, so we need to go do that. I'm so happy I was able to do this pregnancy update. I don't know if I will be doing another one. Hopefully, if I make it to 40 weeks, I will probably do like a full term pregnancy update at that point, but for now, are you okay, bud? <laughs> But for now, this is it. Like I said, I'm 36 and a half weeks pregnant and I hope you enjoyed this video. I love making these videos because I feel like there's such good memories. When I look back in even like a year from now, I'm not gonna remember how I felt at this time and I don't know if this is gonna be our last baby or not. If we do have another one, I will just say, it won't be for probably another like five years. We probably have like a baby of the family, but who knows? So I'm gonna wrap this up right now. Thank you so much for being here and watching and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.